This one day has twists and turns uh, galore, and so does the past nine months. Uh, to kind of simplify how we got to where we are today, let's take a look at back from the very beginning. It's the story that's captivating the country. Did you have anything to do with Jennifer's disappearance? Fox 61 leading the aggressive coverage in the search for answers since the beginning. Why was your DNA in her New Canaan home? We are seizing and analyzing every piece of evidence. Evidence that led investigators to search a Hartford trash facility for weeks on end. The search and rescue dogs are uh, specifically trained to detect the odor of uh, biological uh, material. Amid vigils for the missing mother of five. May the light of God surround you. May the love of God enfold you. Then a scathing gong girl allegation from Dulos attorney Norm Pattis that Jennifer may have fabricated her own disappearance. The truth is sometimes inconvenient. Um, it's hurting Fotis. Followed by groundbreaking video evidence that surfaced showing a man who looks like Fotis dumping trash bags of bloody clothing into storm drains in Hartford. In the days, weeks and months that followed, the desperate search continued in lakes and reservoirs and back at Waveney Park in New Canaan, where Jennifer's car was found. A woman who has disappeared and her car was abandoned right outside the park. Investigators also scoured every inch of Fotis's multiple homes. Can you come chat with us? Can you come chat with our camera? But it's not only a criminal matter. A civil trial has Fotis Dulos battling with Jennifer Dulos's mother, Gloria Farber, for millions in alleged loans. Um, let's see what happens today. A pending family court case has Dulos clamoring for access to his children. I love my children. I miss them every day. A free speech oriented appeal heard before the state Supreme Court on a gag order that's keeping involved parties quiet. We have waged um, war, as it were, with the material at our disposal. A case that's gotten even more complicated with the suicide attempt of the prime suspect. And that's just a look back at the past couple of months. Again, Ben Goldman joined here by our Jen Bernstein, and we're just trying to sort out the details of what has been a hectic few hours. Yeah.